What do you want to do today? This is in uh, comment to the apple on the head. Bear Grylls barbecue. Make a safer target. Remember when you shot the apple off my head? Yep. So last year, Junior and I made some bows at a PVC. I shot an apple off his head. Make safer targets. I felt completely safe. I don't know what in the world they're talking about. Probably wouldn't even hurt him if he got an arrow to the brain. A nice, discreet little target. Whenever you feel like it, you can come out and shoot it. Great. Love that. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> I've seen good spoon targets, and they're just like, they spin around. What if we did something like this? Get the threaded rod, tack a spoon to it, and then when you hit it, it spins around and it moves, migrates one way or the other, and you can have a race. Did you ever take matches when you were a kid, cut off the tips, wrap them together with the oh, strike yeah. pad? And yeah, constantly. You make a lot of noise, is what I remember. You think matches blow up? Well, we'll find out. I'll put it by your ear and set it off, and we'll see. Right now, I'm just cutting some match heads uh, off, putting them in uh, some tin foil. Kevin doesn't remember them being loud. I remember them being very loud, but it's been many years since I've made one, so we'll see. Ready? That's it. <laughs> you said explosion, man. I said it made a noise. You said no, it was silent. You said it, you said it lights on fire. I it said did it made light on fire. Get out the welder the spoons, do the threaded rod thing. Give me a hand here for a second. This rod only works one way, right? You're going the right way. I'm going the right way. That's exactly how I just had it welded. So what I was trying to do was take the rod, cut it in half, and make the threads opposite, and put it back basically the same way it was before I cut it in half. Found this, put a hole in it, Use this as, so the thread rod comes off of this. Yep, yeah, okay. Wonder if we could light the torch. You just graze the tip of that match and it would light it. Like if you had a little gas, boom, and it would light the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Make safer targets. Kevin pointed out that uh, if we shoot the tiki torch in the fuel canister, that might not be such a good thing. So we took an old fire extinguisher and made a sheet for it, like a cover, so we don't uh, puncture the fuel canister. We're gonna try and make something that will light on fire here. So Junior was just talking about uh, being able to light the tiki torch with a target. If we put a target on the end of this match, and if we put a scraper board there, it might light it. Okay, man, so here's what I've come up with for this so far. When you hit the target, rotates it, lights the match. not quite as unobtrusive as I thought it might be. I like the, the game aspect. If this thing works. Ooh. You wanna go find a spot for it? Yeah. Think your candle's gonna work? Maybe. Hit the spoons. I got the one on the right, you got the one on the left. You spin them. When the spoon falls off, you go for the target. Try and light the torch. On your mark. It's that fire. You can an automatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's going on? <laughs> Looks like I've won this one. That was my ball. That was me. <laughs> that was me. Uh -huh. You're not even shooting at that yet. I was shooting at that that time. Your spoon is still on the thing. I forgot about that part of the game. Well, then you lose two ways. <laughs> Oh, I think you're still away, actually. He's been known to lay up short. Oh, and he does it again. It's for the eagle. Come on, roll, roll. Tap in, 